Hey YouTube, we are at Chesapeake Bay uh, KOA, the Cape Charles KOA or Sunset Beach KOA and uh, this is Labor Day weekend and uh, the, we already posted a video on uh, a campground review but we are here again, this is like a couple weeks later and uh, the site that we had before in the other video was a couple rows that way and uh, now we're a couple rows this way and we basically learned um, if the camper faces the beach and I know you don't get to pick but if it faces the beach and you get um, shade in the morning and then you have sun at night and then if it faces the other way which is the way that it was last time you have sun in the morning and then you have shade at night so um, that's that's kind of the lowdown if you get to pick so we're gonna go to dinner and I'm gonna give you a little bit a couple little update dates um, on the campground since we were last year So we're going to do a little walk around of um, Labor Day. So you can see that we had just recently branded the truck and the trailer with some uh, Corgley logos. And uh, this is a row that we are on. We are a couple rows over from uh, where we were last time. And we basically have the last spot um, in the, the front section. So we basically have like the worst spot of the best spots, um, which is kind of unfortunate. That, that's how we ended up. It would have been nicer to tip in up in front, but whatever. Um, you can't really pick, it's a KOA. So anyway, um, we did have this unicorn here with us. This is a Airstream with a slide, which is amazing that uh, um, to see, because normally Airstreams have no slides, yet uh, this one apparently had a slide. And I looked it up on the internet, and, they, and I think it was like the 90s or something when they offered um, slides and I asked him when I spoke to him he said that he'd only seen one other Airstream in person like ever that had a slide so very very super rare so these tent looking things in front of me are like ultra weird um, they are like 2x4 construction and they built these like 2x4 built tent things and then they have these large canvases that go over them and inside of them you, you can barely see there's like two queen size beds and some chairs and stuff um, and I think an air conditioner, I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, but you can rent those, and I, that would be kind of like a different kind of experience. Um, there you go, you can see that kind of edge there, that construction, like the inside of it is constructed like that. The pool was fixed. So in the last video that we showed from about a month ago, um, where a hurricane had come through and knocked down the, pool, the fencing, this pool you can see is fixed and uh, fully operational. And that surfboard they have there um, is decoration and there's water shooting out of it and it lights up and everything. It's kind of, um, kind of fancy. Um, we did not go in the pool. Um, it was kind of crazy. Um, so in front of us where that, go that uh, golden retriever is, that was a, the path that we were um, camping about a month ago um, when we shot the other two videos um, and when, you finally, when they finally get posted. It was about uh, seven campers that way on the right. And the shirt I'm wearing, uh, that is another really fantastic channel, Big Truck, Big RV. Um, if you don't know what that channel is, you should look it up. Like there, that channel is like good, very good. So this is the same section that we had signed up for um, to give you an idea how broad the section is. We could have hypothetically gotten one of these sites if we were kind of like do the lottery and they put us here, um, but we got one of the kind of back sites. I don't think you're, um, since the KOA, you're allowed to pick sites. Um, on the, there's a little box that you can type in, like special requests, and you can type things in there. Like, please, please, please put us near the beach or something. And I've typed that in, um, but so far, like, I think everybody typed that in. So this is Labor Day. They have that little section over there blocked off because they're gonna do a little concert over there. And uh, this is specifically the Sunday of Labor Day weekend when it's, um, super packed what I learned was the Monday the actual Labor Day holiday um, everybody leaves so Labor Day weekend was a, a party weekend so to speak and you can see that Corvigley is even getting attention uh, even by the, the people with the boats out here and uh, we're sharing a little bit of um, cranberry juice let's just say it's more than cranberry juice obviously and uh, it's more than coke and you can see that even all the boats are out here with us. Um, it was pretty ridiculous. And uh, we spend most of the time out here in the water, then we'll spend the entire um, weekend. 
and we did not spend so much time like on the beach itself um, because it was just really really relaxing to be out here in the water so um, this is a jack spot this is the only way down to the beach that um, is easy to get down to the other ones you're kind of like climbing down a um, sandy uh, mountainside or whatever um, this is a wooden area with the nice steps and uh, the jack spot um, on the right is a bar but the inside is closed because of covid but the outside um, they have all the tables all kind of separated out even the little yellow spots here are is a separate the six foot um, separation you can see everybody there uh, um, is wearing masks and stuff like that uh, that actually works there so this is a uh, um, the beach so to speak and, and i think that we showed this in the last review but i wanted to kind of show it off again and yeah i know there's a little blurry spot on the camera i'm sorry like i didn't realize that the, the lens was just a hair dirty in a couple spots um, but this is a the dog beach and this is what the sunset looks like the sunset is absolutely amazing um, here and uh, i think that this sunset i recorded between maybe like 7.15 and uh, 8.45. I had the GoPro sitting on the um, little kind of, you can see on the left, the little handrail. And there were some kids down the, down a ways that were like playing with the handrail. So that's where the little vibration is coming from, just um, kids or whatever. Um, but very, very fantastically awesome um, sunsets on the beach. and. It just gets kind of like prettier and prettier as you wait. As for uh, people grouping together, you can see there's a lot of people in this video kind of like grouping together. The grouping together has to do with um, how well you know people, on how like separated people were and stuff. And obviously um, that's the same set of people over and over and over again, mostly kind of together. So that's a really big family. And the stuff that you see out there, like I made another video on that, um, it's just sort of normal to go out there and just like put yourself out there and then just like leave it out there all night for multiple days in a row. So this is what it looks like at night, just middle of the night or whatever. Um, that's maybe 8, 30, 9 o'clock. So the um, campground actually become, kind of comes alive at night. You would think that like at some point it would shut down, and I probably does like really, really late at night. Um, but there's like live music playing in the background that I didn't, I cut out because I didn't want any copyright laws or whatever um, happening. And uh, the golf carts are crazy. Like it's kind of like cruising. You you can sit there at your campfire and you'll see the same golf cart like go by like like 20 times in a row. Um, they just keep on going and. It was like that both times we were here. It's just people like do all the, the cruising and stuff. All the lights up there was that area that we walked by. And uh, that area that we walked by um, is now like a live concert. When we were there like last month, the artist that was playing was actually a jack spot playing in the corner. But for whatever reason, for Labor Day, they decided to, to do it up here. I'm not really sure why they, they moved it away from Jack's spot and put it up um, up in that area. That is a pool area again. We're coming in from another angle, um, and the pool area has a, like a restroom in there. And I don't know why the boats are here. Like you can see that there's like a boat there. Um, we're about to run to another boat. Like I don't like, and I, I there was a Coast Guard guy I actually spoke to. There was a guest um, at, at, down at the beach area, and I was like, the boats are like literally docking like at the beach. Like, is that normal? Is that okay? And he said that basically the beach is not a designated swimming area. So according to the Coast Guard, like they don't care what the boats do. The boats can can go right in the middle of all the swimmers, and like that's fine. Like officially, like unless they designate the area as, as an official swimming area, like for no boats, like like you could fish in the area, you can bring a dog in the area, you can um, bring a boat in the area, there's another boat right there um, in the middle of the campground. So um, what we're going to do is so people can see the general area of the Chesapeake, um, I'm going to jump over and uh, show off um, what it was like driving here a little bit. Um, just so you can see that. 
So the main complaint that we had um, the last time we were here was the amount of time we waited um, to just get into the campground. It took like 45 minutes for a host to allow us to enter the campground. This time when I went in to check in, like it, it was almost the opposite. They were like, do you want a host to meet you? Or can you do, or do you just feel like take, finding the campsite yourself? And I was just like, I'm going to go like figure it out myself. And like, if the host is there, like they can go with us. Um, and the host was there. So we were, like, they immediately took us in. We did not have any kind of major delay like we had last time. So maybe that was a fluke thing. So the last minute or so of the video is just going to be the tunnel. Um, for those of you who know what the tunnel is, like, thank you uh, for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. Um, but this is the road that you use to get specifically to Chesapeake uh, KOA. And uh, it's, I think, like 20 bucks, um, or at least was for us with a truck in the, um, the trailer. But they have these series of bridges that go over the water that are kind of cool. And then uh, these tunnels. And uh, literally, you're like going over the water, and then you're going under the water, and then you're going over the water, and then you're going under the water. And this is a way, um, this is the route that you're watching is a route between Virginia Beach or like Newport News, um, northbound to get to Cape Charles. It depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from like way north, like say Maryland, you probably wouldn't take this exact route. Um, but if you're coming from Washington, D.C., you probably would take this route because it's quicker to take this than it is to go all the way up to Maryland. Um, but it is kind of cool. And uh, we are on dry land now, so the KOA is on our left. We just passed it. It's like right here. So um, thank you, and uh, please like and subscribe. We'll see you guys around.